I look like I have a mullet. That didn't help. Hey guys, today I'm gonna be testing out like an, a, an insane amount of money's worth of hourglass makeup. If you guys have been following me on my channel for a while, you know that the majority of what I use is more inexpensive makeup. I just like it. I think that you can get really good quality for a low price. You don't have to spend a crazy amount of money. But if you're looking to try like luxurious makeup or you want to try something that just feels really fancy, performs really well, I have found Hourglass to be an amazing brand. And I said in a video a while back, I asked, would you guys be interested in me doing a full face of Hourglass? And you were like, oh yeah. So I bought a ton of stuff recently. I have not tried a lot of it. Some of it I have tried before, like the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation, which I will link a review for up here. And you guys know that that's become a foundation that I cannot put down. I use it nearly every day. It's such a beautiful finish on the skin. I just, I love it so, so much. And I love the Hourglass Bronzers as well, but today I'm gonna be trying out the Cream Trio, the Illume Sheer Trio, some lip products and the highlighter. I'll let you know if it is worth your money Money, if it is worth spending the extra money on because hourglass is insanely expensive. I mean, just one little guy, I think this is like 50 bucks. So before we get into the video, make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel. I put up new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You guys can also follow me on all my other social media stuff. Everything is Raw Beauty Christie, so Instagram and Twitter. We're gonna try all of this out. I am so freaking excited to try this stuff. I've been trying to get the Illume Sheer Trio for like the last three weeks, but it's been sold out. Finally got my hands on it. I haven't even opened it or looked at it yet because it's, I just can't. I'm gonna try primer today, you guys. I'm gonna try primer on half my face to see if it makes any difference whatsoever. I'm figuring the answer is no. So I'm gonna start off with the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. Now, you guys know I don't like primers because I feel like they don't do anything. I have never ever in my life noticed that one has made my makeup last longer, perform better, fill my pores to an extent that it was even necessary to use. In fact, I feel like it makes my makeup slide around. I broke a nail this weekend. I'm so upset because these are my real nails. Oh, did I use too much? I'm thinking, yeah. I'm gonna remove a lot of that. Oil-free primer with a silky, airy texture that leaves a smooth canvas for makeup while reducing the look of redness, pores, and wrinkles. Primer works with any cream, liquid, or powder foundation. All right, it made my skin feel really soft on this side. So this is the Vanish Stick Foundation, which I have done a standalone review on. For the longest time, I lit legitimately hated cream products, stick foundations. I was like, they're so stupid. But as I'm aging, I think it's my age. I really do think that's what it is. I am changing my tune. I really only like cream products lately. If it's powder, I'm just not interested in it. And I feel like it's because it just blends out so seamlessly. It's just so easy to apply. It's quick. It gets me out the door. It looks stunning. It's definitely though, as a downside, not nearly as long lasting as if you were to use powder products and like setting your foundation and everything. But I find that because, yeah, maybe it's not as long lasting, but I'm able to manipulate the makeup throughout the day. I definitely get oily in my T-zone. So I am gonna like do a light powder today to try that um, veil powder. I used to bake my whole face and now I'm just too dry for it. It doesn't work. And I just like looking like a greased chicken. I don't really wanna talk about it. This is in the shade Warm Ivory. Um, I don't like do a ton of this, but like they're like less is more. Um, I have a lot of redness. And so I find like this amount is what I like on my face. It just works for me. And then I like to take a brush. This is the crown brush and the, it doesn't even have a number on it. It doesn't have to be this brush. I was using my BH brush for a long time, but I just like a little, this one's like got a little dome to it. Any brush like this, it's just gonna blend it into the skin really nicely and it's so fast. You can use a beauty blender. I just like to start off with a brush. Hourglass is one of those brands that for the longest time I could never bring myself to purchase. And last year I made my first purchase from them, which was this. It looks hideous, beware. That's the one thing I hate about the packaging. Like it's so stunning, but it gets so hideously dirty. Let me wipe it off. Hmm, that's a little better. This is the Hourglass Ambient Strobe Light Palette. I freaking love this highlight so much. And that was the first product I ever purchased from Hourglass because for literally years I was eyeing it. It was in my cart, it never left my cart. But I could not bring myself to purchase it because it was like $62. And I was like, well, there are amazing highlighters out there that are like $11, you know? And I was 
like there's no point in purchasing something that's more expensive that probably works the same. I finally bit the bullet and did it. And wow, it is a beautiful, beautiful wet looking highlight. I was wearing it yesterday and my sister could not stop mentioning. She was like, wow, your skin looks so glowy, so dewy. It's honestly stunning. Only downside to it, other than the hideously high price tag is this. So you open it up. Wow, 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 beautiful. This happens to so many Hourglass products. Like if I'm paying $62 for something, like what the shit? I just, I don't, I, I treat this very well and it already fell out of the pan. If I'm paying $62 for something, I don't want it to be breaking. I'm not trying to sound like an entitled bitch, but, but I am. Their packaging though at Hourglass is my favorite of any brand I think I've ever used. Like they take the cake for best packaging. I also bring this down my neck because it's not my exact color, but my chest is way more tan than my neck, you can see. So I do bring this all the way down my neck. And then this is a new product from Hourglass I haven't tried yet. This is the Hidden Corrective Concealer and it's a stick concealer. I've never tried one of these before, so I am really interested to see how this is gonna work. Uh. Oh, it has a bit of drag to it. But not bad. I feel like that's a good color. The color I got was fair. So the primer that I just used was $54 for this primer. The Vanish Foundation Stick is $46. The Corrective Concealer is $34. I feel like where you place it, it kind of stays. So you might want to like bring it all the way up near in areas where you need it. Cause it doesn't seem to want to like distribute out very well. Right here, the coverage doesn't look great. Let me try a little bit more there. It definitely feels drier than the Vanish Stick. I might try a brush. Hmm, I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like the brush is definitely the way to apply it. I feel like the Beauty Blender isn't just moving the product around as well as it can. I mean, the coverage isn't bad, but I don't think I would reach for this over like my normal concealer, which what I normally use is the ColourPop No Filter. It's not in stick form, but it's just such a good concealer. I feel like if they made a Vanish concealer that was the same formula, cause this one's just so much more, more emollient. Like it wants to just glide over your skin so much. Let me see, yeah, it's just much less Tuggy. So far of everything that I've tried from Hourglass, this is my least favorite, I think. I, I don't know, I haven't used it enough yet to like give a full opinion on it. It's kind of accentuating some of the texture on my under eyes. It just doesn't look as good as it could. This is the Hourglass Alum Sheer Trio, and it comes with a cream contour slash bronzer, a blush, and a highlight. And these are all cream products. Sam has raved about these, so they better be good. So I think there's only one shade of this, which this is it. I think that that's pretty disappointing in the way that it's only suited for like, I would say fair, maybe like a light medium skin tone, but this is definitely not going to do any sort of bronzing or contouring for deeper skin tones. So they need to definitely expand on this. I don't know. I don't know if it's even recommended by me yet so far. I feel like it's blending seamlessly. I really hate it when brands come out with like one shade of a product like this and they're like, okay, there you go. And it's like, it's not universal for shit's sake. Well, this is going on really nicely. I don't feel like it's patchy or anything. I mean, maybe I can't really see the side of my face all that well. I have a freckle on my ear. The shit, who knew that? I feel like that looks really nice. I'm gonna try the blush color now. All right, so this is the blush. Oh, wow. What do you guys think? I feel like it looks pretty. That's kind of exactly the color of blush I like to go for if I do use blush. This highlighter to me, like I'll swatch it on my hand. Like, I don't know, it just looks a little like, I don't want to try that, I think. Instead of using the highlighter in the Illum Sheer Trio, I want to use the stick because that's what I'm most excited about. 
So basically it's in the exact same packaging as the Vanish Stick Foundation, but in a silver packaging, which is so beautiful. And this is the shade Champagne Flash. It's like, oh, oh. Oh, 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 wow, 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 wow. Oh my God. Wow, the texture of that is so different than I imagined. Okay, I feel like it's kind of mixing in with the foundation. Ooh, yeah, it's definitely not doing something cute right there. It's like, it's almost like picked up and moving around the foundation. Hmm. How am I supposed to use this then? Shoot, what the heck? Yeah, like you can see when I drag it over the top of my foundation, it like moves around everything underneath. <laughs> Motherfucker. Well, how the shit are you supposed to use this if it doesn't work on top of the Vanish Stick foundation? on here. I'll try it on the side with the primer, see if that makes a difference. But it's definitely like a light wash. It's not, it looks like wet and I feel like on just natural skin this would look really pretty. But as you can see, it's like this side especially, it does add like a sheen, but it really moved around the foundation. Maybe the primer is what's helping this side. Weird, maybe primer does do something because look at this side like on my forehead. It does not look good where I placed that highlighter, but this side looks like bad. Does primer work? Okay, I have to admit, I really thought this was gonna be the winner product of all of them. And I am highly disappointed in the way that that Performed. It looks like okay, but I just find that it's picking up my foundation. So maybe I should set it before I use it. But then I feel like putting that over a powder is definitely a bad idea. Okay, well this is a full face using Hourglass in general. So I'm going to remedy this with my favorite Hourglass highlighter. And this is the Absolute Strobe Light Palette. It's like the metallic strobe light palette. This brush sucks for this because it sheds so bad, but this is the Makeup Addiction Small Contour Brush. I've just been using this lately for this, so I'm going to. I mix all the three shades together. I just kind of run over the top of them. And then I'll show you. Like, okay, you can see the glow that that gave. I mean, it is like really intense. It's so beautiful. I just feel like the stick is, I don't know. It's just, it's not wowing me at all. But I'm gonna definitely try it again before I like give my huge opinion on it because there's definitely been products that I start off not loving and then end up being obsessed with. And it's might it might just be the way I have to use it maybe. I don't know, maybe you do the Vanish stick foundation all over the face, do the Vanish thing and then blend them in together. I don't know. I haven't tried it yet, but off oh, first impression, that's the thing I was the most excited for. I was like certain that I was gonna be like shitting my pants over that highlighter and I am not. So I think I'm gonna take a bit of this powder. This is the Hourglass Veil Powder. The powder comes out of a little H. How cute is that? And I'm gonna take a bit of this powder on a little beauty blender. I'm gonna like tap off most of that so that it's not baking because I'm not into powdering my face like that right now. But I definitely wanna powder areas that get really, really greasy on me throughout the day. So this area tends to kind of wanna come off right here. Sides of my nose a little bit. These laugh lines, the middle of my forehead. By the way, the um, Illume Sheer Trio is $62. The highlighting stick is $42. The powder is $46. So like ridiculous, if I'm being honest. The packaging is so stunning for me. And I know everyone has you know their own opinions on packaging, but you can't get much classier looking than Hourglass. The only downfall I have with it is how dirty the packaging gets. So like brand new, it's like so shiny, but any little spot that gets on it, like this is the Illume Sheer Trio that I just opened opened and you can see it's already covered in fingerprints so it doesn't look great their packaging is so stunning but i think that's a lot of what you're paying for from people that i've talked to in like manufacturing and things the packaging is the absolute most expensive part of the entire makeup process so 
Um, I don't have any eyeshadows that I am going to use from Hourglass because they're like, I'll show you from what I found online, like what their eyeshadows look like. Like that's what it looks like. And those are the each individual eyeshadow colors. And so it's like so stunning in a lot of ways but I will never reach for that. Like I already know myself so well and that's not something I'm ever gonna be like, oh yeah, the gunmetal color from that Hourglass palette. So I'm just gonna use some Makeup Geek shadows today. I haven't used Makeup Geek in so long that I pulled it out and I've been using it for like the last week and I just forgot, they're so good. A little bit of peach smoothie mixed with Cocoa Bear, tap off the excess and then I'm just gonna run that throughout my crease. I know this isn't some like crazy revolutionary eye look but uh, nobody said this was a crazy revolutionary makeup tutorial. I'm gonna show you guys this new brow product that I got. If you guys want me to do a full video on it, like how I've been doing my brows lately, I so will. So I saw Gina Shikeda, I'm, I know I'm saying that wrong. I saw her use it in a video and then right after that, Mac sent it in the mail and, and it arrived and I have not put it down since. It is such a cool eyebrow product and I find myself like, I don't wanna use anything else now. All right, so I'm gonna toss a pair of lashes on off camera. If you guys want a tutorial on how to apply false lashes for beginners, I will link it up here. I did a video. Okay, so lashes are on and I'm gonna show you guys this brow product. So this is the MAC Shape and Shade Brow Tint. And basically what it looks like is this. So you've got your pen and on one side, and this is the side I think is dumb, you have like this shader. So basically it's like a little flat guy and you've got like the shade of the brows that you can like kind of push in. I haven't even opened that side of any of them because it's not what I'm interested in. This is the side I'm interested in and it is a pen. And when you use this pen, it's got a very light tint to it, but it comes in different colors. So you can draw on hair stroke brows with this pen without it being overwhelming because it's such a light pigmentation. So you can take this and like, Extend out your brow quickly. It's literally like drawing on your face with a pen. I mean, it is. This shade's a little too dark for me, I think. I'll just use this on my tail and then I'll go in with like the lighter shade for the front of my brow. And it just like fills it in really nicely without being overly so. That, so that's the shade Spiked. I'm gonna go in with the shade Fling and I'm gonna just do some hair strokes in the front. Look at that, look at that. I don't know, dude. I'm freaking obsessed with this shit. Bitch, I'm loving fluffy brows right now. I don't know what what's happened to me. All right, and then the final two products that I'm going to try from Hourglass are these, and these are the Extreme Sheen Lip Glosses. This is the shade Reflect. This one I swatched on my hand and I was like, ooh, I feel like this is a waste of money, but we'll see. I'm gonna put this one on first because this is the one I really wanna wear, and this is the shade Nectar. Yeah. I don't know, I just, these are like 30 bucks, are they like 30 bucks? For whatever price, I feel like I'm not getting much. Like there are clear lip glosses that perform so much better. Like if you're looking for a high-end one, the Bobbi Brown lip gloss in the color Bare Sparkle, stunning. Any ColourPop lip gloss, amazing. Fenty Gloss Bomb, amazing. That color to me, Reflect, is just, like the packaging on these is so stunning. It reminds me almost of those Urban Decay lip glosses. I feel like Urban Decay kind of took the inspiration from these, but they're just that color specifically reflect. Like it's not bad and the formula feels really soft, but I just feel like it's like, it's not doing anything. Yeah, these are $28 a piece. So like son of a bitch. Ooh, that's a pretty color, but is it worth the money? I feel like this almost needs to be over the top of a lipstick that you want to just like add something to. I mean, I love a good sheer lip product, but it's almost like the color of my natural lips, which I hate. I don't like these, I don't know. I really thought this nectar would be more pigmented in a way, like the YSL one that I just used on Sam's channel. Yeah, I don't, I don't like this. 
Okay, so the verdict on this video. Um, this is a tough one. So basically, I really like the foundation, but if you have very, very oily skin, you may want to set it with a powder because it definitely slides around throughout the day. You may not like it if you have oily skin. I have dry skin that I get a little bit combo oily in the T-zone throughout the day, and I like the way the foundation is, but it's not perfect, but I do wear it often because it's such a quick application. I feel like the finish is really beautiful, but it definitely has like no longevity on my skin. Like I can probably get like six to eight comfortable hours out of it and then it starts to just slick off my face and I, all I want to do is wash my face. The Sheer Illume Trio, I actually think I quite like it. It applied really easily. I don't know if it would be worth the money because it's got that highlighter in there that just seems a bit lackluster to me. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but the highlighter doesn't look as sheeny. The lip glosses are a total pass. Like they're pretty, but they're sheer. Maybe it's just the colors that I picked out, but those two I am not a fan of. I feel like you can just get better formulas like the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip. I prefer far more to this. The concealer, I feel like is not a great concealer for me. I think I would just stick to the ColourPop No Filter, which is my favorite, or like Kylie. I really like the Kylie concealer a lot. It looks better on my under eyes than this. This just kind of accentuates things in a way that like I'm not too happy about. It doesn't look hideous, but it doesn't look amazing. Powder is nice. I feel like it's good, but I feel like everyone made me feel like this was gonna make me just die and shit my pants. And while it is beautiful, I feel like it's very, very comparable to like Laura Mercier or even like the Maybelline Fit Me. Maybe it is so much different, but I just don't feel like it did anything that made me be like, yep, this is why it's different. I was so disappointed in this, which is the highlighter stick. I have to figure out how to use this because I've heard everybody raving about this and it looks stunning on my hand, but on my face, it definitely lifted the product. So if you know how to use this product and if I'm using it in correctly, please let me know because I don't really see another way to use it other than putting on your foundation and then going over top of it with the highlighter, which is what you generally do. I don't know if I'm supposed to put it on first. I honestly don't know, but it definitely lifted the product in that area. Maybe I just over applied my foundation and that's why, but that's what I generally do because I need the coverage. I do love these. These are one product I didn't show in the video because I used the Sheer Loom Trio, but these are the ambient lighting bronzers. This is the shade Luminous Bronze Light. I use this literally every day now. It's so beautiful. The other one is Nude Bronze Light, and this one's a lot more of a contour shade. They do have a bit of luminosity to them, but just enough to be like, so naturally stunning on the face. Like they don't add like a highlight in your contour areas. It just adds like a beautiful luminosity, which what you, it's what you want. It's not like dry or crusty looking at all because it has like a hint, like a tint of sheen. Maybe I'll try this. This is the Veil Retouching Fluid and they sent this over and I have no idea what this is, but I was talking to Samantha and she said it's like a topper for your concealer to like retouch throughout the day. But maybe I'll try it real quick because what's it gonna hurt at this point? What did it do? I don't have a damn clue what that did. It doesn't look bad. It just kind of looks like luminous. I don't know. I don't know. This is such an interesting face of makeup. Like I thought I was going to be obsessed with everything. Um, so I feel like of all the stuff, if I'm gonna recommend anything to you or say that you might wanna try it, I think the Illume Sheer Trio is really pretty. I think the bronzers are amazing. I love the highlighting palette, which I think was limited edition, but they may bring it back or have something similar. And if they do, I will link it down below. The foundation, and I think that's it. I think everything else is like up in the air with me. I'm gonna keep trying these things out because I bought them, so I wanna try them. But yeah, I mean, I definitely, I mean, I think this face of makeup is pretty. It's not like revolutionary or anything, but yeah. All right, let me know what you guys think. Have you tried anything from Hourglass that I need to try or any other brands you guys are interested in me trying? I did buy a whole face worth of Glossier makeup. It's on its way and I will be doing that as well. So if you guys are interested in that video, give this a thumbs up because Glossier is coming, baby. I, I think this is pretty. I just definitely am like sitting here like, oh, really? But I do love Hourglass and I don't think anything's gonna change that, but hmm. All right, well, I hope you guys liked this video and found it interesting. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I am so close to 400,000 subscribers. I can't even believe that word just came out of my mouth. That does That's not a number I associate with myself. It just sounds so bizarre to me because I, I, I just can't even believe there's that many people like what? And uh, wow, I thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you at my next video. Bye.
I got my big hair on today. I look like I have a mullet. That didn't help. I still have some eyelash glue going on. Distribute the product be as best as, uh, uh, uh. Amp, amp, amp. Back sent it in the mail and I, uh, I, 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 I. Yeah, the concealer is something that, it, it dragged so much and didn't have enough coverage for me to feel like it was worth it. I, do, I did already see that. 